How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is early in the morning. Well, I shouldn't say that, actually. <clears throat> I've been up since early in the morning, but I've been working for about two hours. I completely edited the next video for the channel, which is currently uploading right here, but it is a very weak connection. <laughs> 5%. That's going to take a minute. Yeah, and yeah, we're just getting our day going here. I am in Revelstoke currently. I have to get my butt back to Calgary for later this afternoon so I can pick my little girl up from school. And then her and I are going to be staying in a hotel tonight. I'm going to take her overnight, obviously, because I haven't seen her in quite a, quite a while. It is, um, at this point, it's the very... Well, it's not. It's been over for a while, but I was gone for the May long weekend in Canada. Or as I learned from a bunch of my incredible subscribers out east, May 2-4. And if you don't know why it's called that, uh, use your imagination. Yeah, I haven't seen her in a few days. So I'm very excited to get back there and spend some nice quality time with her. And then I'll have her on the weekend as well. We got a whole bunch of stuff we got to get taken care of this weekend, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Like I said, I am in Revelstoke. The kitties are intermittently mowing their breakfasts, and I'm intermittently fasting as I do, but it's, like I said, I've been up for a while, and it's time for a coffee. So we're gonna rip over to the Tim Hortons here and get us some caffeine. Let's close up the cupboard so shit doesn't come flying out, always important. I watched last night, <clears throat> I hunkered down, and I used my little Mafia hotspot over here. And I watched the movie Tetris on Apple TV. Highly recommend, it was really good. It tells the story about how Tetris came from Russia to America. If you're interested in, if you like video games, you're interested in that sort of thing, definitely watch it. You can tell there's probably a lot of embellishments, but regardless, it was very enjoyable and that's what movies are supposed to be. And even if only like 50% of it is actually true, that's fine, I don't know. anyways. Thoroughly enjoyed it. So, we need to get our day started. We need to get the hook out of this rest stop, don't we? Did you just blow past me right up to the front? Yeah, you did. You're ready to go. That's not a bad idea. Lights out. See you in a minute. Pretty cat. Oh, good grief. Oh. Woo. All right. Stellies, look out. This one as well. Yeah, it's a little bit of a noisy rest stop. There's a lot of truckers that stay here overnight because uh, we're right on the Trans Canada Highway. Which, which, if you don't know, it's a very big highway in Canada. Whew. And I gotta say, I don't know, I usually sleep like crap. Like I just, I just do. That's just, I've just made my peace with that fact. Uh, maybe I've just reached that point in my life or whatever. Um, but even at a place like this, I wasn't kept awake by vehicle noise. Like you can still hear it. Lucky's insulation is good, but it's not that good. It's not like completely soundproof, but I don't know. Maybe I've just gotten really used to like the white or brown noise, whatever you want to call it. How about you? How'd you sleep? Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right, let's get some coffee. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Can I get an extra large coffee? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Breakfast and you yeah, fill up, because why not? Let's go.
Hello? <laughs> what? We're getting gas. Calm down. Your sister's just chilling in the sunbeam right across her face. What are you? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, actually, my little brother should be traveling this way today as well. So, I think he's taken off in an hour or so from his place, and it'll take him a couple to get here. But I thought, hey, that kind of gives me a good excuse to just hang around, enjoy what is looking to be an absolutely gorgeous day in Revelstoke. And then we could travel back through the Rogers Pass together. You're not, you're not escaping, okay? We're at it. We're at a gas station. Well, you're not, no. This is just a moment. This is the moment when Stella jumped out of Lucky at a gas station. Good, I like the hesitation. How about the no? Good grief. Ooh, do they have it? Oh, I knew I should have bought it in New Denver. The Java, they do have it. The salted caramel. Come to me. Road snacks, and if you know me, I'm a sucker for when things say new. Or in this case, limited time only. Tangy all dressed. There better not be any hint of lime in there. Eww. Well, at least now, since I've been here recently and frequently, I kinda know a good spot to go. To just sorta hang out. So let's do that. Why isn't my gas full? I waited till it clicked off, see? Stupid. Now the question's gonna be, can I remember how to get there by myself? I think so. I think we'll be just fine. And drag race. Not literally. It's a van, calm down. There you go. Ain't nothing wrong with that view. Yeah, I already sucked down my bagel because I'm a savage. Oh, oh it's a lovely little spot. Let's actually see how hard it is to get down to the water from here. I have a coffee cup I could rinse. Oh, a little breezy. Maybe time for a flannel? Probably not. There's a little walking path here. Not too terrible. Ooh, water gets real deep. Looks like, oh, there's stairs. Well, that makes it easier. What well, kind of stairs? Not like stairs you'd be proud of. Let's go grab a coffee cup and give her a rinse. I always get worried doing walks like that with my back. I've done a couple, just little brief ones with my cousin on the camping trip in NBC or at my parents' house and whatnot. It is amazing how something as simple as a walk on some uneven rocks can really aggravate your pain. Wait, Stella. Wait, why did I come back here? <laughs> the coffee cup is... Mm. Right there. Hey, Benny, we'll go around. I don't feel like unlocking another door. This one, please and thank you. And then we're gonna have to do a garbage run, just mm. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That is one cold river.
liking that I'm getting to spend as much time here in Revelstoke as I am lately, just based on the fact that I'm in my van and traveling back and forth between Alberta and BC so much. It's a town I went through my entire life and uh, is always just sort of on the highway there. When I was young, we used to stay at the hotel, um, but it was still just straight drive through. I had ventured into the town a little bit later in my life, but nothing too crazy, but it's a, it's a nice little place. And for those that might not know, when I wear this hat, my uh, Mount Begbie hat, that's the brewery that is here in Revelstoke. Begbie, Mwah. no science, no beer, both ways. Hi, <laughs> you wanna go see the river? I don't think that would be a great idea. Although you could probably scale that little embankment better than I could. Ugh. All right, just moved over here closer to the washrooms because can you guess? But first I gotta take care of somebody else's washroom. There's garbage cans right here, so it kind of works out perfectly. Drinking your water, I see. Ladder, bring out the catio, and let's get some fresh pellets for the kitty cat. You got a fresh pooper. You happy about it? Mm, good girl. Howdy go. All right, get that little cute head of yours inside. Don't smack it. <sighs> Rebel Soak's gotta have a car wash. <laughs> Lucky really needs a bath after that road that I took yesterday to get to Trout Lake. I'm sure they have a car wash. The question is, do they have a wand wash? Which answer is probably yes. I'll buy a garbage. And these washrooms should be open. They were the last time I was here, when my little girl had to use the biffy. Uh -huh. Nice. Quality content. Quality content. <sighs> Why can't the view of every washroom look like that when you walk out of it? Morning. I think they just came out of that Ford E350. I will say this, I've been seeing and running into and having conversations with so many more nomads um, this year already, uh, which is kind of cool. The weather has definitely gotten everybody oot and a boot. Guys, nobody in Canada ever says. <laughs> People think. I'm bad at responding to text messages. Y'all try to get a message back from my brother. I don't know where he is. I'm trying to guesstimate where he would be based on the time that it is right now and what he told me last night when he thought he would be leaving. Byron! There you go, sometimes cursing his name and putting that out into the universe makes shit happen, he just wrote me. He will be, well, probably another 45 to an hour or so. He needs to get gas when he gets here. So we'll meet him back up at the shell where we got our, our tasty breakfast and coffee. And you cannot stay there, little lady. You are right in the field of view when you're up there. I don't want to hear it. You're such a whiner. You're such a whiner. Look at his little kittums. Look at the kittums. Why are you so complainy, huh? What's going on? Mm -hmm. 
<sighs> so, this is a Legend of Zelda sort of time. Can you stop whapping her? Some people's kids. Actually, before I go get sort of hunkered down at the shell there, I'm gonna pop into this liquor store right here, which is the same one that Lindsay and I, whoop, <laughs> stopped in last year during the May long trip. Um, Cause I'm not gonna have time to go to the brewery here. The Bigby Brewery, they don't open till like noon, but they have a summer lager that I wanna get. So I'm gonna do that. You wait right here and keep an eye on things. Here. Here you go. I was barely gone a minute. And we got ourselves the tail whip logger. Yeah, it's pretty good. And I wasn't lying when I said right there, no science, no beer. Truer words never spoken. Well, there might have been truer words never spoken, but those ones matter to me the most. Hey -o. All right, just pulled back over to the shell. Byron shouldn't be too much longer. I think I will just pull out the old Nintendo Switch and uh, play a little video games whilst I wait for my brother to arrive. That's the plan. Whole bunch of clouds rolled in. All right. And playing a little bit of video games and now i'm still waiting for him he should be here soon i was just putting together my overnight bag for the hotel with my little girl so i got all our change of clothes and swimsuits in there and everything that we may or may not need right as well as our toiletries and whatnot this bag i usually keep underneath the bed is just like a ready to go bag in case i have to get her in an emergency situation and by emergency situation i just mean there was one morning where um her mom couldn't drop her off at school because she was so sick and we kind of had to rush because her mom had to go to work and i had to come grab her and pick her up before that and i wanted to take her to a hotel because she wasn't feeling well i didn't want to just have her bouncing around outside it's that would be ill-advised, right? So ever since then, I kind of keep this bag ready to go. So it makes it a lot easier when you've got a young person with you needing lots and lots of your attention. You don't really have time to be horsing around, farting around, getting stuff into a bag, right? So this way it's just ready to go. <sighs> it's definitely cooled off out there. Think it might be time for that flannel. Oh. Oh yeah, it's cooled right off up here. Cool. Complete cloud cover now. Doesn't take long, does it, Stella? Oh. That is better. I'm now realizing I didn't even attempt to try to find a wand wash. Well, now it just sounds like a future Matthew problem. How you doing, Penny? You just playing that waiting game? <laughs> I showed this off a while back. Uh, my cousin went to Universal Studios back in April. And she brought me back this cute little Raptor keychain from that of Jurassic World or whatever. I've had this Jones Boys floaty thing on my keys ever since I dropped my boat off at Jones Boys. We all know how that went. But I think I'm gonna put this dino on my keychain. It's supposed to be a bag tag, you know, but there. That way when my little girl wants to play with my keys, she's got something a lot more fun to look at and play with rather than whatever that looks like. An aquatic Chrysler symbol? I don't know. Yeah. What do you think, Stellies? You like the dinosaur better? It's <laughs> you like, just get it out of my face so I can get out. Okay. You need to calm down, okay? Look at this guy's sexy whip. <laughs> really screwed up which side the uh, gas tank was on. <laughs> Did you get the wrong side of the oh, gas tank? I used to how they do it in Australia. Hi. Hey, oh. How you doing? Hey, Ready to go fall over for a living? Yes. <laughs> Get upside the head. This is for that Jude Law one. Oh. Yeah. Big baller oh, over here. People order 1984. No, it's the Order 1886, don't you know? It was, oh, a, it was a hot know, PS4 this is, this is game. Less I don't think that game was very exciting. We got a convoy, Rubber Duck. Oh, it's still wet. 
<laughs> Why do you have a rubber uh, duck? Well, I don't know. It was in my shaving kit. <laughs> okay. And I was like, wait a minute, we have a convoy. <laughs> He's from Germany. Oh, it's the German ducky. Rubber ducky on a dash. We got to have the convoy. Walking through the day. Okay, so I have to go out there. What? I have to go to the bathroom. We go to the bathroom? We go to the bathroom. And how long are we going to stop? I know stop your channel's all about bathroom stuff. You would have been doing, that's all we've been talking about this morning. Potty, potty and poo poos. Gotta talk about bidets. 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 Uh, no, I'm good. I'm loaded up with road snacks. Now I'll walk in with you, why not? Yeah. Hold up, go with me. It's I was not safe here. to go I alone. I had my breakfast, Tim Hortons. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be looking at any of that stuff. It's all bad for you. This is like the only one that doesn't have any of I'm sorry, what? Rain. Rainbow Sherbert? Ooh. Gummy bear fight it? What is this? Byron likes rain. White gummy bear. Very expensive. Very expensive. But clearly he thinks they're good. So we're gonna give him a shot and compare them. Yeah. All right, it's on you. <laughs> I mean, that's the energy drink I drink. It's like driving, I'm really tired. It's like that dish looks really good. Now let's take it. First ingredient, palm oil. <laughs> <laughs> it is palm oil. It's not true. I'm going to compare it to Monster. Wow. Monster's got they Carbonated water? Carbonated water. Okay, Monster has sugar, but I usually get sugar free. I got one of each, so I'm going to try. I don't know. Here you go. I, I got a bag of these tangy all-dressed Doritos. These ones right here. I don't know if they're any good. They're brand new, though. Ugh. Palm oil everywhere. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a protein bar? Maximum protein. No. Mammoth protein. Oh, that shit's terrible. Is Mr. Health Nut these days? Mmm, chocolate flavored coating. That's palm the pearl oil. Yeah. Butter, sugar, <laughs> chocolate, peanut butter. It's all okay. good for Salt you. Salt and palm oil. Yeah, no, no, no. See, I double like, it up. I like double this. it up. You see, have you noticed how they start doing this? What? It's like, oh man, where are the ingredients? Oh man, yeah, no, there's my yeah. It's great. underneath oh, the flappy. Wait a minute. It's underneath One the flappy. One more little cryptic way of hiding poison. <laughs> hiding poison. Anyways, I'm gonna take my salty snack. Yeah. <laughs> Puts hair on your chest, which is the last thing I need. Thank you. It was so nice this morning. All these clouds came from. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> of course it is. When I, I leave. It's, yeah, I know. Me too. I'm like, ah. <laughs> oh. When do you head back? I I don't know at this point. Oh, okay. It's, um, it's gonna be in town for a while. Yeah. There's like several filming dates. You're gonna be here this Saturday though, right? You'll still be in town. Oh yeah. Okay. Because we're probably gonna do either gonna do barbecue or go out. All of us, like you, me, Amber, Lindsay. No, just for whatever. Oh, okay. Uh, because Saturday we're gonna be. I'm getting a U-Haul trailer. You guys don't need to know this. Spoiler alert. This is for family only. Well, it'll be a bit anyway. Yeah. Follow Lucky. Follow Lucky. All right, let's do it. On the road again. Finally on the road again, and speeding back to the city. But well, that's really loud. Come on, Stella, it's loud out here. Let's go. Move it over. Move it over. All right, which one are we gonna start with? Let's go with the white gummy bear. We'll save Rainbow Sherbert for uh, another time. All right. He's behind me. What the little guy, what the hell? What? <laughs> this guy, this guy right here. <laughs> Let's do it.
They're in here. <laughs> Are you saying hi to them? <laughs> you what? Oh, you're calling them? Be careful. You're on your bum. We're gonna go Come back. Come Penny. <laughs> you called a kitty cat. <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. Go ahead. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Back in the city. How thrilling is that? Great, great, great. Ah, uh, that drink's pretty tasty. I might have a new favorite. I haven't tried the rainbow sherbet one yet though, but the white gummy bear one, very tasty. And Byron peeled off. He's staying with our cousin while he's here, being a big movie star that he is. And I now have the most important package ever, don't I? Do you need help? Okay. <laughs> Give it to me, let me see it. How was your day? Good. Yeah, what'd you do? I played. Oh, you played? That's, that's, What's that? With what? What are you putting in it? Where? Dead. I don't know, it's your seat. Dead. We are here now. We're going to go, should we go get a bite to eat? Yeah. You hungry? Some dinner? Yeah. Yeah? Then we can go to the hotel or what? Yeah. Okay. That's my plan for tonight. We'll catch up in the morning. Oh boy, who's ready to do another product review? Look out, kitty cats. Good grief. Well, that's a little bit more of a product to review, I guess. In the rubber mat's not ideal. <laughs> oh, this one's just, get it up there. Ooh, this one says made in China, but it says just made in China, so it's clearly brand new. Thanks, China. Get in there. That's not gonna work. How about this way? There we go. I'm gonna need a bigger house. <laughs> Good timing. Hmm. All right, let's start with those cute little cards. I'm very curious, let's see here. This small one, Zulu Design. Ooh, is it copy stickers? Good vibes only, it says on the back. All that's on the front is my mailing address. No return address, let's see. <gasps> hey, ooh, the card says, thanks for your support. Zulu, I guess that means like just by putting this sticker on my van, which I absolutely will do because look at that. Home is off the grid. Van life, endless roads, where the waves are. <laughs> I'm gonna say if you're having a bad day, catch a wave. I mean, Zulu, if that's the name your mother gave you. Thank you very much. That's such a cool little sticker. We'll put that on Lucky's butt for sure. And then, oh, this one, again, just my address. You know, a little tiny bubble envelope. What's in here? Ha, huh? ooh, more stickers. Wow. You'll never know until you go. Look at the artwork on these. That's cool. Somebody signed it and said, thank you. You're welcome. I don't know who these are from, but thank you very much. <gasps> There's a third one. There's a third one. Oh, that one's cool. I like that too. 
Awesome. Thank you for the Snickers. Those are really sweet. These definitely feel high end. The sun won't F these ones up. And what else? Hang on. Ooh. Don't even look at it. Don't even look at it. Hang on. What's this? Bedroom entry room. It says hat racks. Who's this from? This is from Carer, Carer. <clears throat> Let's try that again. This is from Carol Sullivan, also known as Carol S. Matthew, I hope you can find a spot for these to house your growing hat collection from Carol. Thank you, Carol. I was just having that idea not too long ago about maybe like blocking out one of the side door's windows and getting something like this on there. Oh, it's like a whole little arts and crafts thing. How in the heck? Oh, and they probably just, I get it. Those are cool. Mount those up and then the hat's probably just right on there with the backs. As long as they're, you know, have these, which most of mine do. Yikes. Thank you, Carol. That'll be a fun little project. Yeah, I've been meaning to block out one of my side windows like with a piece of, I don't know, plywood or something, which would then give me a mounting point for stuff like that. And then, yeah, we get the hats and other things up and on the walls. Because living in the van, vertical space on the walls is paramount to success. So in here, hey, Amazon's killing it with the from tags. This is from Marita. Ah, Marita got me this my tripod. What did she send me this time? Ah, my small rig. This, <clears throat> hang on. It's the name of the company, Small Rig, which is a great little company I found. Primarily they're on Amazon, but they make great little camera accessories for mounting stuff and whatnot. That they're really good at making boxes that are hard to get into as well. Screw you, small rig. Ah, yes. Now, this, now the question is, yes, it does. So I can take this off. I'm gonna really have to hang on. But he's like, what is it? I don't understand. I've already broke it. There, anyways, it's an adjustable. There's a lot of parts I could lose from this, but it's an adjustable arm. It, you, it doesn't matter. You're just gonna have to appreciate the artistic integrity that comes in the future. This is for mounting the camera on the outside of the van and whatnot. It's, it's a, mm, thank you, Marita. This was on my wish list, and I appreciate it. A little bit later. Maybe I need to do like a how-to with, like, with my filming and stuff. Give away all the secrets. There's not a lot of secrets. There's a lot of garbage, though. Ooh, who is this from? Oh, this is, came from Vern. This is cool. So, well, this, is this gonna, yeah, this will totally work. So check this out. I was sitting outside the van, this is quite a while ago, and I was having a beer or whatever, just, you know, and I was sitting outside the van, as I said, it's very loud out there. And I was like, man, I wish I could just plug my phone in and charge it without having to go into my van. Height of laziness. But that led me to find this guy. So this, much like my shore power, plug on the other side that provides power to Lucky. This one's reversed. You touch it, screw it, and then it's a mm, on this side. So I can plug that into my, I was going to say the vitamin, or any solar generator that might be in the van or the inverter or whatever that I have outside power. I mean like RVs and stuff have them. So why not Bloody Lucky? That's super cool, Vern. Thank you very much. We got projects for days. Blast more holes in the ship. Okay, we got a little bit of a mm here right now. So, start with the simple one up here. Where's the mail knife? That's the pink one. Is that what we decided? I don't, I don't remember. Anything. Somebody sent me a toaster? Who sent me a toaster? Vern, enjoy your gift. Enjoy some toast. <laughs> it's a toaster. Two slice long toaster. Oh, so it's like one slice? Or like one slot? Hang on. It's actually kind of cool. I do like myself some toast. And I have not made toast in the van because I used to have one of those like camping stove wire ones. Oh damn, look at this thing. I don't know where I'm going to keep it. What is it? It's one big slot for two slices. I mean, that's about as compact as you can get and still be able to make two slices. Thanks, Vern. That's cool. Awesome. I appreciate that. Do we think we need the instructions for it? I mean, it's a toaster. And I have an idea as to what this last one is because it was on my wish list what hey oh oh there's the from pet hello buried in the bottom this is from Vern as well Vern you're spoiling me that's Stella's head hi back it up <laughs> can you see what it is yes that's a propane fire pit thank you very much Vern this now means on the next camping trip 
if there's a still a fire ban, we can enjoy a fire. That was very thoughtful of you, Vern. I appreciate it. Now I gotta... <laughs> okay. First and foremost, most importantly, thank you everybody who sent me things. Again, very kind, very generous of you, and I really do appreciate it. And I'm excited to get all that new stuff installed. It'll be quite nice. Yeah. So like right here is kind of what I was thinking. Like this is literally just this and then this foam board and then the window. And yeah, well, it's nice to have the window. I really don't use it that often. So I can very easily wall this off, like with a piece of plywood or something. And then we'd have a mounting surface. I definitely want to insulate the window though. So I don't know if I should just like spray foam the foam board to the glass. Cause the last thing you'd want to do is put a piece of plywood up there permanently, like permanently with screws and then have condensation get back there in the winter. It probably wouldn't be good. But can I just spray foam a foam board to glass? Is that a good practice? We're gonna find out. We're gonna leave this one here. Again, thank you very much to everyone who was kind enough to send things in. I appreciate that. Thank you very, very, very much for watching here on YouTube. If you're not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It greatly helps the channel out and the videos. And until the next one, just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourself. Most importantly, be positive. And remember, only dead fish go with the flow.